Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a fragrance review channel. My name is Kalia Nari and on this channel, I love to share my thoughts on the latest things that are hitting the market. Be it if it's designer scents, niche perfumes, body products, layering combos. I just like to help others, fragrant lovers, combine their fragrances, layer them, or even introduce them to some, some things that are new. I am so excited today to share one of my absolute favorite, or should I say have become one of my favorite fragrances, oils, and it is from Brown Sugar Babe. Have you heard about them? If not, I'm going to talk about them today. What I, I did have opportunity to attend an event that was here in Houston, and it was absolutely amazing. I'm going to give you a snippet of what it was that I was able to do at this event. I did purchase three. Uh, I wanted to purchase more, but I did purchase three. What I did find at the event is that all their fragrances are natural ingredients. Uh, they pride themselves on all of their oils being able to transform your skin, make it more soft, more supple. Uh, I'm going to give you an overall scent profile of all the ones that I came across and the three that I was able to purchase. And I'm going to tell you what fragrance group I think that the fragrance would most appeal to. So if that sounds interesting to you and you have not heard about Brown Sugar Babe or you have heard about Brown Sugar Babe, I would love for you to comment in the comments throughout the video to help other people who maybe have not heard of it or the ones that you may be interested in. But with no further delay, if this is something you're interested in, then stay tuned. Uh, first of all, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to anyone that is new. Uh, I hope you subscribe. Hope you find something that you're interested in. We are true fragrance fanatics here on this channel. And to each and every one of y'all who come back each and every week, I post. I greatly appreciate you. But first, before I get into my review of Brown, babe, uh, brown Sugar Babe, all I want to first highlight the event. I hope you enjoyed the highlight. If you want silky, smooth, glowing skin, you need to try Brown Sugar Babe. One of the major highlights of this brand is the benefits, right? The oil is deeply hydrating. It's moisturizing to your skin. They blend together uh, various different nourishing oil that leaves your skin incredibly soft and supple. It consists of five organic carrier oils, which work together to heal, condition, and nourish your skin. This rich blend is so balancing uh, to anyone who may have uneven skin. Uh, if you have dry skin, I think Brown Sugar Babe is the one that you should go with. If you're just looking for a glow to your skin that is not heavy, it's not thick, Brown Sugar Babe. Like, I can't, I can't tell you enough about it. I just want to tell you about some of the five organic carrier oils that is inside of each and every bottle that you get. You're going to get sweet almond oil, which is going to soften your skin, hydrate your skin, improve with lacticity, treat acne. Uh, if you have eczema, it will give you some eczema relief. Uh, it reduces wrinkles and it's moisturizing to your skin. Who wouldn't want sweet almond oil on their skin? But on top of that, you also get castor oil, which is conditioning to your skin. It's going to diminish any scars that you may have. It's going to lighten them. Uh, I often found that it improved with the circulation, like you're massaging your skin and everything. So castor oil, again, you would think would be thick, but it wasn't, it wasn't thick. Uh, they also included avocado oil. Uh, it softens the texture of your skin. So if you are a person who suffer with bumpy textured skin, 
uh, olive oil is in their oils. It is going to improve the lacticity. It's going to guard and protect your skin barrier. It's going to nourish dry skin. It's going to give you sun protection. And then it's rich in vitamins. And then also inside of it, which we all look for for our hair, sometimes we look for it just for skin treatment, it's going to be grapeseed oil. Now, grapeseed oil is a lightweight formula, right? So it is very high in rich in oxidants. Uh, it reduces in inflammation. It diminishes scars. It helps with anti-aging effect. And then it's going to also protect your skin barrier. Now, the last two that is in here, uh, when I was going through, I, I did all my research. So I wanted to make sure when I did this video, I gave you everything I could think of to tell you about Brown Sugar Babe. So the last two is olive oil. In olive oil, uh, I, people often use it. I know that I do in my hair sometimes. I might use it to moisturize my scalp. Uh, it's going to help with dry skin. It's going to reduce wrinkles, protect you from UV rays. It promotes collagen production in your skin. And last but not least, there is vitamin E oil. Now, vitamin E oil, you know everybody wants that in their product, and it's also included in this oil, and it's going to fight with free radicals. It's going to nourish your dry skin, reduce scarring. It helps to treat uh, stretch marks if used, you know, consecutively. Now, I wanted to tell you about those carrier oils only because I want you to know how much work was put into Brown Sugar Babe. But one of the best things for me that made it so amazing was the incredible scents. The scents was absolutely divine. So I would love to get into what did I purchase when I went to this event. Okay, so let's get into what did I get? <laughs> well, the first one I got and I had to have it was Bad and Bougie. Bad and Bougie is champagne, it's juicy nectarine, and it's red currant. I had to have Bad, Bad and Bougie, which absolutely smells divine. Like, I love it. I had to have it because I want to I wanna layer it with my Lamar by Kajal. And I also want to layer it with Juicy Fruit. I'm sorry, Juicy Flower <laughs> by Mancera. Another one that I got, and uh, it may even surprise you because I'm not that big on tobacco, but I did get one like that. And it is Sweet Smoke. Sweet Smoke, oh, is comparable to tobacco honey, right? So the notes in this one here is honey. It is cloves. It's anise. I had to have Sweet Smoke because I was looking for something to layer with or put on my skin when I wear Starlight by Georgiov. And also when I wear my Paz, and I never say this one right, Paz uh, Cessoir by BDK. And if you know anything about these fragrances, you know that it is tobacco heavy, it's, it's very spicy, it's very, um, it's, it's good, right? It's one of them good winter scents. So Sweet Smoke was a no-brainer. I had to get that one. And then lastly, what I ended up adding to my collection was Madam. Now, Madam is their take on Minnie Mouse by House of Siage. So one of the, the notes that's in it is going to be marshmallow, whipped cream, raspberry, caramel, coconut, vanilla, musk, and cedar. So I had to have, I had to have it because I did not, I don't per se have Minnie Mouse because I have the dapper version of Minnie Mouse. And this one is so good that I haven't gotten around to actually getting Minnie Mouse by House of Siage, but I wanted to layer that one with this one to see how it would, it would wear. I did, and I loved it. And also, I, I got that one because I want to compare it. I want to layer it under one of the newer ones that I got, which is by Novitas, which is in a uh, partnership with Alicia. Is it Amorous Intense? Yes, Amorous. No, Amor in, um, Infinity. <laughs> what was I thinking? I think because I like all of them so much, I, I got confused. Amor Infinity. <laughs> this is the one that kind of gives you 
Ooh, that nice fruity opening with the rose in it. I just talked about it. I'll make sure I link it in the cards because um, I just talked about this one. And I think these two are going to work amazing together. So these are the three that I did get, but there was so much more there, right? So now I'm going to get into what I wish I would have purchased, but what is on my wish list. All right, so on the side of me, I'm going to post uh, the bottle of what this looks like, and then I'm going to tell you about them. Uh, one that was there, these are a few that were there that I wish I would have gotten, but I just didn't want to buy all of them immediately. Uh, the first one is Lady Luck. Lady Luck compares to Donna Born in Roma. Uh, I'm not that fond of that fragrance, right? So the oil did smell better, <laughs> but... I'm not a person who born uh, Donna Born in Roma is one that I truly do enjoy. But I feel if you like Prada Paradox or Valentina Born in Roma, uh, which is the Donna Born in Roma, then this would layer beautifully, beautifully with it. Uh, another one that they had, uh, and, and I was kind of up in the air over it, was Sweet Thing. Sweet Thing was an original by uh, Brown Sugar Babe, and in that one, it was floral notes, it was fruity notes, uh, it had cotton candy, lemon, raspberry, strawberry, so off the notes alone, I was like, I gotta get it. Like, I feel like I have to get it. But then when it came time for me to get in the line and purchase what it was I wanted to get, Sweet thing didn't make it, but I immediately came home and put it on my wish list. So it'll be in my next packaging. Uh, Blind Ambition was amazing. Blind Ambition is their uh, take on Clove, uh, Clive Christian's Blind Amber. So it had rum and frankincense. It had bitter, bitter orange, bergamot, pink pepper, tuberose, tobacco, dark, uh, I'm sorry, dried apricot, tonka bean, and vetiver. It was up in the air between sweet smoke and blind ambition, and sweet smoke just happens to win one out. But again, you know that's on my list. Uh, another one that I smelled that I was like, oh, should I get it? Should I not get it? Mm, I don't know. And that was Rosa. Rosa is comparable to Roses on Ice by Killian. Uh, it had this beautiful coconut, uh, not coconut, I'm sorry, um, cucumber rose balanced in it that was very unique and very nice. But roses on ice out of all the Killian uh, fragrances is one that is on the bottom of my list. But if you love roses on ice, then you need to get Rosa because it's going to give you uh, cucumber, juniper uh, berry, lime, rose, sand um, sandalwood, and musk. I think is a perfect blend to the fragrance. And that's why I was kind of like, mm, I'm not sure. But if you like it, I'm telling you, you should get it. And this one here, I smelt it there. I have smelt it on other people. And by the time I made it to the event, they had already sold out. And that is Rich Ainty. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is comparable to Delina Exclusive, and I currently have Delina Exclusive. So I went to this event with all intentions of buying Rich Ainty. But like I said, I showed up after everyone had already started, and I bet you uh, Rich Ainty was the first to go. Uh, I know that this is going to layer gorgeous with uh, Perfume Damali's uh, Delina Exclusive. I know it is because the notes in it is lychee, pear, bergamot, Turkish rose, argot oud, incense, vanilla, amber, and woody notes. Like, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, of course, you know I want Rich Ainty. And for all of my good gourmand lovers like myself who love to smell good. We love to smell like a snack. They have two that are coming out. I didn't get an opportunity to smell these, but based on the notes on the website, when I went to the website to put in my wish list, I decided that this, I got to get these two. <laughs> so as you hear, I like all of them so far, right? Uh, this one is called Pink Pound Cake. It is a sweet blend of strawberries and cake batter. 
Uh, the notes in it is strawberry, vanilla, and buttercream. So if you want somebody to take a bite out to you, your significant other, you just want to walk in the room and they know that you are there because you're smelling so delicious, you want to leave an impression, pink pound cake. I bet you that's one that you can wear to bed, right? And just off the top of the name of this one, it is called Chris P. Cream. And being from the South, there is uh, one of the best donut shops is Krispy Kreme. So just the idea of that. I don't know if I can even wear this one or even if I would get it and use it as a house scent, right? Put it in my diffuser as a house scent. Because uh, I'm not sure if I want to smell like a donut, right? But the, the notes in it is sweetened milk, uh, granulate sugar, confectioned sugar, fried donut, and buttercream. So if you want to smell like a donut, Krispy Kreme is the one you should go get. If you like me and you want to get it just so your house smells like a dessert is being cooked every day, Krispy Kreme. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait to make further purchases from this line. I absolutely love brown sugar baby like i don't know what took me so long to get into this line but now that i'm into it i want to buy more and more and more i hope you are enjoying my review so far uh i have tried to hit everything give you all of the information i possibly have with my research on the brand on the products that they have on the fragrances that i purchased now i want to talk about how would you wear it right so you're saying claudia you got me so interested in getting this line. How would you wear it, right? There's two ways that I will wear it, right? So I want to shift the focus to uh, how you're going to incorporate it into your daily routine. I believe that when I was trying it out, I put it on dewy skin. Like I came out the shower, I normally exfoliate with this product right here. And then after I come out, I do a two, a two wash. So I, I, I wash off with an antibacterial. Then I cleanse my body with the African scrub uh, with some kind of like a dove or some kind of fragrant um, body wash. All right. So I'm out. I've dabbed my skin down, not completely dried it, just dabbed it down where it's damp. And then I took the oil and you do not need a lot. Like this is like that. I don't even know if you can see that without me dropping it. It's it's not a lot right there. It's not a lot. Like you can barely see that in my hand. That's how strong this scent is that it just goes on to the skin. Oh, oh Lord, this is that bad and bougie. I love it. <laughs> I love this one. But as you notice, see how it's not, it's not super oily. It just is giving me a gorgeous glow. So you do not need a lot. You do not need a lot, right? So that is one way I would do it, strictly by yourself. Then uh, if you are a person with drier skin, and I say you might need some added moisture to it, take that same drop, put it in your hand with an unscented lotion. Uh, not with another lotion, but like an unscented lotion. If you wanna use a scented lotion, then I would do the first process and then put the scented lotion on top. But if you have a more drier skin, I believe that you need to put this drop, and again, it's just a drop, in your hand, inside of the lotion, mix the lotion together, and then rub that onto your skin. Either way, your skin is gonna be soft, you're gonna smell amazing, it's gonna take any of your scents and it's gonna take it to the next level. Every time I've ever worn it, like I've been wearing it, my husband enjoys it, it's not overbearing on my skin so uh there are sometimes i put on a body oil and he's told me baby that's kind of strong right uh, or i put on a body oil and it has like this oil cast to it so i have to kind of wait before i put my clothes on but as you notice right here do you see it it is completely and we just was talking for a little while it is completely soaked into my skin not oily at all those are the two ways that I will use this product. So to end off the video, so I'm going to summarize everything that I talked about. Uh, if you're looking for a body oil, I truly do believe that if you want a body oil that's going to give you soft, smooth, hydrated skin, then brown sugar, babe. Just 
get you a bottle it's a must try in my opinion is the fragrances are absolutely divine the smells of it on top of the fact that it helps your fragrance lasts all day. So like say you may have a fragrance that doesn't have great longevity. I think if you put the oil on your skin and then put the fragrance on top of it, it will give it more lasting power. Uh, I do believe that it will transfer your um, self-care routine, right? Like we need to really get into taking care of ourselves, taking even if it's a few minutes. You know, we are mothers, we are workers, we are... Uh, employees we are granddaughters we are everything to everybody right take just a small time for self-care and include brown sugar babe in it right just enough to massage your skin i think that this would be a true game changer in your life i enjoyed uh everything that i purchased i even enjoyed digging deep into the company to find out more things about it it made me fall in love more with it like i said there is five organic carrier oils in every product that is going to help your skin on top of having you smell good i just believe that you should give this line a sniff right smell it you have nothing to lose Smell it if you know someone who has an uh has gotten brown sugar babe and you want to kind of get a smell of it first. The price of it is affordable, uh, to my standards, affordable compared to what somebody oils are, is $65. You get a nice size portion. Like I said before, you do not need a lot. You do not need to pour this oil out to lather your skin to get the scent uh projection you can just use a little bit um and if you have tried this line right like i mentioned before if you tried this line please share it share it in the comments tell me about your fragrance memories about using uh brown sugar babe so that other people can read your comments and and see that i'm not just talking about the line because i have it i really do think that it is an amazing line i hope that you have subscribed you hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any future fragrance finds that i have found or reviews that i talk about so on that note i wish you a wonderful night whenever you had an opportunity to watch this be it morning evening whenever it was i hope you liked it you shared and on that note i'm gonna see you in the next video